Meets Faith TV. Do you know that Jesus performs many miracles? He made the deaf to hear. Do you know that Jesus fed 5,000 people with only five loaves of bread? Can an ordinary man do these miracles? The Bible says that baby Jesus was born to Mary and Joseph. And we celebrate that on Christmas Day. But the same Bible says that Jesus is the Son of God. I think Jesus' power confirms His teaching that He is the Son of God. Yes, but can a human be God as well? Hello, I'm the Bible. Read me. I contain the words of God. I am divided into two parts. In the Old Testament, you read about the creation, the fall of man, and God's plan for His people. In the New Testament, you read about Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. It is a mystery. How can Jesus be both a man and also God? Jesus is the Holy Son of God who came to the world in human flesh to save the world. He is the child the angels spoke about in Luke 1 verse 35. Therefore, the child to be born Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Oh, Jesus, grant us peace in this life. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. But Lord, there is so much burden and strife in our world. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Dear Jesus, is it true that I should love my enemies? Yes, love your enemies, and pray for those who persecute you. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Ask, and it will be given. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. But seek first the kingdom of God, and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Why is Jesus leaving? The hour has come. The Son of Man is about to be delivered into the hands of men. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Oh, my Jesus, my Lord, my God, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. I must go to Jerusalem and suffer much from the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law. I will be put to death, but three days later I will be raised to life. Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. to Jesus. He was a good man. Yes, he was helping everyone. Pick me up. I'm the Bible. Read me and you will get all your answers about Jesus. 
I miss Jesus. I loved his teachings. He was a good man. But what happened to him? Okay, if you read the Bible, you will understand everything about Jesus. Jesus is Son of God made man. Hello? Can you pick me up and read your Bible today? Hello? Did you hear that? Hello, kids. I see you're wondering about Jesus. Who are you? Can you show yourself? I'm here. I can answer your questions. I am an angel of God. Angel of God? Hello, angel of God. Where is Jesus? Can you please tell us what happened to Jesus? He was doing good deeds. Yes, Jesus was healing the sick and even made the blind man to see. Where is Jesus? Jesus was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane. Arrested? What did Jesus do wrong? Jesus did nothing wrong. They found him guilty of claiming to be king. His body was hung on a cross between two thieves. So no one tried to save him? One of the rulers, Pilate, tried to make the religious leaders happy by having Jesus beaten, but not to be put to death. But the people were not satisfied with the beating, and they all screamed, Crucify him! Crucify him! So Pilate handed Jesus over to be crucified. That must hurt, but why put a good man to death? Yes, let me explain. God sent Jesus to the world to suffer to save the world. Jesus survived painful beating, whipping, and mocking, and a crown of thorns. And they gave him a cross to carry to his death. And Jesus had to carry a cross? Yes, Jesus carried a cross to his death. And after Jesus cried, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit, he died. May his gentle soul rest in peace. Where is his grave so we can visit him? Jesus is not in a grave. Jesus rose from the dead on the third day. What? Jesus is a supreme. He's alive? Yes. After his death, on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the woman took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found a stone rolled away from the tomb. Who rolled the stones away? The woman did not know who rolled the stones away. So they entered the tomb and did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. So, somebody stole his body? I'm sure they must have been wondering about Jesus' body. I will be wondering as well. Why would they crucify him and then steal his body? While they were all wondering about this, Suddenly, two men in white clothes appeared. They women were afraid and bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the two men said to them, Why do you look to the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen from the dead. Risen from the dead? I still do not understand that part. I don't understand how Jesus rose from the dead. Remember what Jesus said when he was with you? Jesus said, The Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Amazing! Yes! Hooray! Jesus is alive! It sounds impossible and difficult to believe. Yes, to man it is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Yes. Yes. Jesus is the Messiah who came to die and save the world. The Messiah suffers these things for mankind. I wish I can see Jesus. Me too. Jesus is gone into heaven. And Jesus is coming soon. And now, dear children, continue in here so that when he appears, we may be confident and unashamed before he at his coming. 1 John 2, 28.
Peace be with you. Do not be afraid. Jesus, is that the ghost of Jesus? Why are you troubled? And why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. Jesus, my Lord and my God. Oh my, Jesus. Do you have anything here to eat? Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. Read me. I'm the Bible. This is what is written: the Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in His name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I'm going to send you what my Father has promised. As written in Luke twenty-four forty-six. Thank you, Jesus. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and He will give you another Helper, that He may abide with you forever. The Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive. Because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans; I will come to you. Kids Faith TV.